a Tyler doing his mixing. And what are we what are we doing this for then, Tyler? We're doing what? The greenhouse footings. Greenhouse footings, that's right. And um, what we got the footings for? Bricks, isn't it? So we're going to use these bricks. Really nice brick for the greenhouse. What's the ratio of mix, Tyler? Uh, one cement bucket to six sand buckets. Yeah. And uh, how do you mix it from the start? Uh, what do you bit do? Of water, up, bit of water, yeah. Up to the line. Which is there. Up to the line. Yeah. Up, line. up to that line here, but inside you'll see the line. Yeah, that's and it. Then and then what? Two sand buckets. Two sand buckets, and yeah. Then a bit of cement. And then a little bit of cement. So we're using buckets because that's the easiest way to measure out. And then we'll throw the buckets, not literally in, but <laughs> and we found that uh, a good mix really is um, half a bucket of water is perfect for this, um, and that'll give you the perfect mix. Uh, we also use Wix's own uh, mortar plasticizer that goes in there as well. So, as you can see, quite a bit of that goes in there, and that gives it a bit of. Uh, a little bit of play elasticity to it if, if you like that's a nice word in it elasticity do six buckets of sand one bucket of cement and half a bucket of water that will fill that mixer up perfectly you won't get any more in it and then that will fill the barrel up perfectly spot on all the mix is spot on oh, there's the base all leveled out tampered down with that um up here that corner there has got about six to eight inches and it comes down to this level here so it's not majorly out it's not it's not horrendous but that's uh, the concrete base coming on all the dirt went in there and uh some of the topsoil from last year and those troughs over there that were full of compost went in there so that can be recycled Well, thank you very much, Stozza. Thanks for helping me today. Lovely old job, man. <laughs> Lovely old job. <laughs> <laughs> and that... Stevie wouldn't be glad to see it. Oh, do you know what? For somebody that hasn't done brickwork, and you have... Not good for my house. I, this, I ain't done too bad, have I? Not good for my house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look good from your house. You have to sweep up nice up and level. Shit everywhere. Oh, what, in the frogs? <laughs> shit in the frogs? In the frogs. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that for a straight wall. That's not in there probably anyway, bud. Just get that corner in with there. Yeah, yeah, well, and see there, straight away. There you go. Yeah, very on. good. Very good. Very good. Brilliant. Beautiful. Let's go at night. Shit looks good, aren't it? Yeah. We've had three seasons in one. <laughs> We've had three seasons in one today. Jack of all trades. As long as it's straight and level, it's not bad. Because I've got to put a frame on this. If it's not straight and level, then I got problems. And getting these corners wide is really important. Getting them dead square is really important because we want to be square from that corner to that corner to this corner. And if we are, then fantastic. The uh, wooden frame that goes on top will work really well. So here we go a bit more. Doodles is helping me. Do a bit down here. It's got a pot. <laughs> can do some planting. Either that or 
or he's just going to smash it to bits. I think it's mm. probably a smashing to bits bit. I think. If you're thinking about doing uh, brickwork, um, just remember it's really back breaking work. That, I mean, I am fit for nothing now. I'm fit for bed. That is really tiring. Anyway, that's another day done. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye. The level between this wall and that wall is absolutely between the lines of the bubble. It is bang on on the height. It's also bang on that level and that level. Both sides. And that one. And that one. As it should be. Got the string line up. And as you can see down that string line. I don't know if you can see it there. Uh, but we're bang on the line there as we put the string line up for the first time really and this wall here is absolutely spot on well it's day four and uh it's raining so i don't think i'll be doing the brickwork today uh i don't want to destroy the mortar which potentially you can do in in the rain it's only it's only fine rain so i don't know whether i'd um, be okay or not but it's possibly not a good idea to attempt it I don't know. So for now, catch you later. Say bye, Dougal. Dougal, say bye bye. Say bye bye. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, you are, ain't you? Well, it's day four. It was raining today. Um, however, this afternoon it cleared up. So uh, from two o'clock to now, which is like. Ooh, 20 to 6, 25 to 6, I've managed to get four more courses in there and finish that seven course high brickwork. I'm hoping I'll uh, finish the brickwork by the weekend and then we can get onto the woodwork frame along the top and get all these, the gable ends done first on the, on the, on the roof and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, it's coming on. Okay, so it's the end of day five. It's Wednesday, and as you can see, progression is coming along nicely. We've got second coat on, as you can see what the colour is going to be like. So that's uh, two coats on the base plate, or the... Um, the wall plate I should say and uh, I'll put another coat on and then basically on top of the plate will go our framework the, the the ground inside of here will be dug out to a degree um, so it's just flattened more than anything and then I shall put shingle around all the edges one foot in from the wall so that'll be shingle and then the rest will be um, paving slabs flush to the door looking good coming on hello Tyler how you doing mate so where are we at at the moment in your carpentry skills son uh, you doing well yeah what have we done so far then made the side walls for your greenhouse where are they Nah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Live you, Jub. Not bad, eh? There's the ground all flattened out, look. All flattened out. All ready for the black membrane to go in here and cemented um, slabs eventually. However, things have come to a halt at the moment. I've uh, managed to um, get the right angles for the gable end here. And I've worked out the uh, the span for the for the bird's mouths. Laid it out on the uh, on the garden. Make sure that it all worked, and it does. It works really well. So we're going to go go with that. Uh, go with them and use them as a pattern for all nine all nine rafters this side and all nine rafters that side. Amanda's painting, so she's even. Amanda's getting involved. How cool is that? What do you think of the uh, progress so far, Amanda? Rubbish, no. It's really nice. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. And you say Amanda's getting involved for once. <laughs> I said 
Amanda's getting involved. I didn't say for once you said that. <laughs> How, I wouldn't dare. <laughs> but no, you are. You've. Uh, we had to paint it last night, and again, every every time we put a bit of white wood on, we really do need to paint it. So now Tyler and myself, we are now loading out the um, the patio. We've got a, a mix of cement on the go and we put this lining down all the way through which is right up against the wall three meters by five meters long so hopefully that'll stop the weeds coming through um, and then we're going to have shingle as you can see from there to there so that is the layout so far um, we've just got to work out where that physically finishes up here um, and uh, we'll go from there well all looking good guys um fantastic actually i'm I'm really pleased thank you tyler for giving me a hand he uh my son has helped me tremendously on this um in the fact that he's uh mixed up all the cement for for this so i've shown him and he he carried on and uh well done him i do need a bit more shingle to finish off here and uh i'll be ready to walk on tomorrow in robinson's cabinetry and joinery here let's start again now that is the uh, the very top of the roof done, and that is five meter, almost five meters long. Um, it's actually four point eight long exactly, and these will be cut and put on the ends of each end. So that is your roof. Um, what they call a oh, I can't think we call it now crest. That's your roof crest done. Um, so that's got to be painted. It's all glued, so the weather, so it'd be that was glued in, into here. There's a V V joint in in underneath here, if that makes sense, to correspond with the 45 degree angle and uh, the 45 degree pitch roof. Uh, these are beautiful. These these uh, finials, they're made out of Iroco, and they are from uh, Nigel Nigel Hall Wood Turners. In Norwich and uh, there's, there's the actual hard worker right there <laughs> <laughs> bless you well done you that looks absolutely awesome well done Amanda thank you looks nice been waiting two weeks now for wood and uh, still waiting um, but we have done a few little odd jobs around uh, including the crest as you can see there all nicely finished and we've left it out in the open elements to see how it fares before we actually stick it on the roof when we finally get the roof let's say I've done all the the patio side of it um, while we're waiting and then we had some more tantalized wood so I capped the top so we I could actually kneel on that and tend to the to the plants which is a, a bit of a better solution than trying to kneel on just two inch of wood like that and then down here i've been busy with this little area here and um, just kind of getting a nice footpath into the chicken coop area and what have you and uh, of course you know about this and we've done all this so the chickens are very happy they're over there <laughs> they're over there digging holes and happy as can be um getting eggs every single day which is fantastic um, and now this is a work in progress getting plants in here in the shaded area because when when this all sh sh uh, grows and all the blossom turns into lovely fruit and um, all these leaves get bigger of course then um, that's going to be quite a shaded area here so all these plants here are, are designed to be around a, a kind of a shaded bottled woodland area if you like Well, next stage is the roof. There's a lot of work in it, but it um, it needs doing correctly. Obviously, there's a lot of glass in there, um, so we're just having a little bit of a lunch break, and then we're going to go crack on doing 
doing these joints here. That's what we're, we're doing right now. So we're getting them joints made and cut. Those particular joints are very, very important for the uh, for the bars that go in between the joists. That's where all the strength is, and because of the angle, and it's a 45 degree angle there. That's um, that's just going to produce a huge amount of strength in in the roof itself and stop it will stop the uh, the rafters from splaying out if you like um, yeah and just adds lots and lots of strength to the whole roof so spraying all the roof components now Hello. Come to see your little workshop painting rockers? Yes, this is going to be mine. Yes. I'll be happy for you. <laughs> quick update um, I've managed to spray the uh, the greenhouse it's looking rather mental up there at the moment um, yeah I think it's gonna be a bit thunderstormy tonight by the look of it but um, got some more bits done and uh, we are literally ready for glass now um, I've got windows to put in here which are made and uh, just got to spray them, and then we got these brackets ready for, 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 for this, for the glass. And there's a small gap here, which is fine, because um, at the end of the day, it is a greenhouse, and uh, a tiny little gap won't hurt. And that what what that'll do is, uh, I think I've said this before, what it do is uh, any condensation on the inside of the glass, it will just run out. Well, life just doesn't get any better. The greenhouse is completely and utterly finished. And um, there you go, look. Lovely old job. Oh, I'm so pleased, I tell you. It's been a lot of hard labor and a lot of brain power to completely finish this project off. Um, but finally, you are looking at the inside of this lovely greenhouse. Um, it's five meters by three meters and uh, uh, as you can see here we've got some plants in already uh, we have uh, a grapevine and it's got the grapes on there as well so we've got grapes lovely old well finally got there finally got there um 10th of june 10th of june um it's actually sunday now for the 12th 13th of june um 2021 and there we have it lovely old job finally done it finally got the greenhouse glass in um, the automatic window openers are clearly working incredibly well um, I think you can adjust them 
and uh, I possibly will as I go along to open a bit more perhaps I don't know but I think they're enough that's enough for air I suppose and we've got the ventilation here with the windows wide open on both sides a uh, lovely Iroco door um, all oiled and finished and uh, inside the first set of plants in here uh, we have you can hear the uh, different sound as you come in um, probably sounds quite hollow in here uh, but lovely lemon tree there so it should do quite well there I hope um, friend of ours, friend of ours Sam has um, given us um, some tomatoes that she uh, planted for us bless her so thank you very much Sam look forward to them and a couple of lemon trees there that I've grown from seed from last year so they, they've done quite well they're looking a bit yellow in the leaves so I bought them in I'm hoping they'll do well in here um, I don't really give them too much water and uh, the the grapevine from last year it done really well shot up last year and has grown tremendously and uh, not sure on how to trim it if I'm honest but uh, we'll we'll find out I'm, I'm learning as we go along and uh, already we've got grapes on the grapevine fantastic so it's all in it's Robinson's Vineyard thank you very much Richard Goldsmith for my present I've finally found a home for it <laughs> and uh, I built some racks yesterday and uh, we've got some chili chilies uh, cayenne chilies they are and that's what they are and then here we've got some of these lovely big big long fat juicy um, salad peppers um, so looking forward to them they they were seeds from last year when I uh, when we had some lovely peppers from uh, Sainsbury's and I took the seeds and grew them this year so it's fantastic and they're the rest of the uh, tomato plants not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet um, and uh, thank you to Amanda's mum for this little plaque here telling um, this glass plaque beautiful really lovely absolutely lovely thank you very much that's, that's got its home in here and uh, Amanda always wanted some rattan furniture and uh, she found some 300 pounds now that's got a home as well <laughs> Um, that's more like a drinking station in the evening when it cools down a bit in here, I think. Um, but anyway, all up and running, look, all up and running. Fantastic. That looks great. I'm so pleased. So pleased. Next year we'll, we'll be seeing a lot more seed, seed growing earlier in the year. I mean, it's June now. Um, it's quite late really to be planting seeds in the greenhouse um, so unfortunately what I did do is plant seeds out there in the beds in the raised beds so I say unfortunately I mean it's, it's getting quite late I think in, in the year that's my my issue I've got here but anyway all done look all done all done looking fantastic looking fantastic yeah absolutely fantastic looks like it's always been there yeah brilliant um, raised beds with strawberries as I say we've got some pear trees we've got all sorts going on um, got parsnips cabbage and cucumbers uh, not cucumbers uh, courgettes they've they're growing quite well the little courgettes there not they were from seed so they've done quite well already um, that's brilliant fantastic and then we got some uh, runner beans here and over there and then along here this end here all around here we've got peas and then in the center I thought well you know there's a lot of earth here let's let's uh, let's go crazy and do some cucumbers so that's the cucumbers let's see if they uh, see if they work for me and of course you know what they are they're spuds and we've got carrots growing here there they are the seeds have um, germinated and they you can see very fine fine looking grass looking 
stems coming up all the way along um, for the for the for the carrots. Uh, spring onions, um, not seeing a lot on the spring onions yet. Um, give it time, that'll work. And then we got um, shallots all along here. So we well, can see one there that's grown quite well already. You got one over there that's coming up, and then one right at the end there that's coming up, and there's a there's a couple more that tiny ones. And then figs. My God, figs! Look at that beauty already. It's only June. Oh. So uh, we're looking looking forward to some figs this year as well. We, we had a couple last year that were absolutely gorgeous and juicy. Um, that's a Stella cherry tree um, I don't think I'll be getting any cherries on that this year and a uh, fantastic amount of strawberries we got and this is a family pear tree as you know and everything's just growing mad and growing as it should so well chuffed so today is a relaxed day for me I may I may pot um, some bits and pieces uh, I may repot the chilies uh, I may even let them grow a bit I'll give them another week I think and then maybe repot them anyway guys that is the greenhouse project all done and dusted thank you very much for watching <laughs>